right, first of all, my name is Barry Afan. I just work with the Ministry of Agriculture. I've been there for the past 30 years. What we're going to do now is graft a mango tree. First of all, what you see in here is a mango rootstock. This is about five to six months old. We use two types of rootstock. We use long mango or rose. The reason why it's vigorous, it's adaptable. You see a rose mango or long mango growing anywhere. All right, so again, it must reach pencil size thickness. Now you look for a smooth surface area and you're making your cut. Now we're just going skin deep. That's all you're taking off, right? Skin deep. Now the cyan material you're cutting, whatever mango you desire. If it's um, julie, starch, box and spice, doodles, whatever you cut here, that is what you're going to get here. You're only using the, jewel, um, the rose or the long as a base. All right? Now when you're cutting side material, it must be compatible. You won't cut a fat piece of scion to pawn on a tin stock. The two of them must be equally matched. Skin deep. The reason why you're just meeting the cambium layer under the skin. And you're taping from the underneath come up. Just clear plastic, it's a trim plastic, you get a little pull on it. Now the, the cyan material you put on the stock, it mustn't have no space between the two. No space. All the way above. This would be open, open to the elements, rain and sun. So you don't want no rain water getting in. No space between. This remains for 28 to 30 days. After the 28 to 30 days, you're on tape and the side material is still green, you nip the top. The food will come here, just as what you see here. You see the piece of cyan I put on? So you cut off this. And this alone grow. All the food will come here. And this will be a hybrid. Now as you cut here, this will send a lot of side shoots. You keep removing them. Because they'll be so vigorous, they won't want the cyan material to grow. This is a bastard. The stock wouldn't want the, the uh, hybrid to grow. So it will send a lot of shoots. You now have to keep taking them off and let the hybrid alone grow. But if you want more than one? If you want more than one, you, you could even go lower down and put another variety. Now, it, I don't like it that way. I like it like if you put two seeds in one bag and you put a julie and a starch. Not, not two on one stock. Eventually, after a couple of years, the top one will pull all the food and stifle the underneath one. So if you, yeah, you, you grow two rootstock in one bag and you, you put two different mango on it. I prefer it that way. Then we could have it almost any food bag? No. Yeah, well, in that case, if you put in um, like two different rootstock in one bag, yes. Like in citrus, you could use a putigal and a grapefruit or a, a orange and a putigal, but that's whatever. But two separate plants. Yeah, two separate plants. I, I, I don't like to put two buds on one plant. One of my desire was to have a, one tree here in multiple Yeah. Right? Like, for instance, let's pick a number. I would like to have one plant have five different trees. Eventually, it will be there for about three, four years. And, and after that, you will find dominate one, one dominate. It will be and style for the one underneath. Uh -huh. Because you can't put them one here and one here. You always have to put one lower down, one higher up, one above. So, so the, the highest one is what draws the All the food. And style for the ones underneath. Oh. All right, so I prefer two seeds grow in one bag and you put two separate plants. All right? So there's no big longevity when you have multiple No. Let me show you a citrus. Citrus is more simpler. Now you see what, you see what we did with mango, right? Mango is a side graph. Mangoes, we do grafting. Citrus, we're going to do budding, where you use one eye. All right? Now, there's a Cleopatra mandarin rootstock. 
This is about five to six months old. Pencil size thickness. You remove all the leaves. Now watch carefully what I'm doing. Huh? Just skin deep. Normally when we graph in, we graph 18 inches from the back to the top. The reason why some places prone to flooding. Okay. We doesn't want the flood water hit the union, like here. 18 inches is rather high. Yeah. I don't go 18 inches, I go a little... Now there's a... We, uh, yeah. This is a piece of cyan I cut yesterday. This is, a, uh, um, this is pineapple orange. All right, so I'm going to put on a piece of pineapple onto this. Now you see the cutter make there? I'm going to make an identical cut to match that. All right? This one you cut on the Oh, that, that little piece is what budded? It's called budded. Yeah. Now this take about between 18 to 21 days. After 18 to 21 days, you're on tape, and if the eye is still green, which means it catch, oh. right? So three day, three or four days after you're on tape, you cut out this, and this will shot the shoot. Just as what you see down here. Just watch it there. Let me show you. This. There's your budded plant here. There's the cut we make here, and this alone will grow. But the, the original plant will continue to... Start. It will always send shoots. So you had to remove it and let your hybrid alone grow. Eventually that will be... This will be whatever you put on. Like how I put on... Um, pineapple, pineapple orange. This will be pineapple. How you managed to get the pineapple in your... I went on an established tree. I know the fruit. I know the quality of the fruit. And I take my sign material from that. Alright? They have these pedigrees. Pineapple orange, orange. Yeah. All right. Any questions, anybody? Well, if I if I continue to do this type of budding mm -hmm. and continue to keep cutting off the original plants, I could eventually have uh, multiple plants. Yes, you could. And, and keep cutting off the dominant the dominant one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You could do that. That will need to go the other side again. We just we just do the Yeah. Or oh, let's take up handouts. Handouts showing you. Why are you giving all this to the police? Next week. <laughs> <laughs>